It's one of Tennessee's most unique restaurants, and right now it is struggling to make it. Sweet Jordan's over in Paris in Henry County is as much a mission as it is a business, and that can lead to problems. Well, in tonight's Farrier Files, Dennis Farrier takes us to this magical place that's trying to overcome some serious obstacles. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Most bakeries and coffee shops lead with their food. After all, that's what keeps people coming back. But here at Sweet Jordan's, salty polar bear, they lead with their employees. This mom. Sweet Jordan's doesn't just hire special needs men and women, it prefers them. Look at it, Kyra. Good job. And that keeps people coming back. An idea that springs from the smiling face of Jordan St. John. <laughs> His parents wanted him to have purpose, a place to go every day. And so they went big. There are 30 special needs employees at Sweet Jordan's. They love unconditionally, and they're teaching us how to love unconditionally and to trust good intentions and just be kind. Caramel coca, coconut latte. Coconut latte. People like Clay who are always smiling, always happy, who love every minute of every shift. Thank you. <laughs> do you like working here? Yes, sir, I do, Dennis. Why? Because everyone here is real nice and stuff. What do you like about your job? What's fun? What do you like? Why do you like it? Why? I like to do everything. Work in the coffee and the bakery and the kitchen and wash the dishes and stuff. And I like to meet people and stuff and talk to the employees and stuff. And all that good stuff. And I got me a girlfriend, too. Oh, wow. Her name's Emma. I'm in love with her. Man, <laughs> Fall in love. Clay also loves to be challenged to a game of Name That Tune. Born in the USA. Bruce Springsteen. Bad Moon Rising. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Free Fallen. Uh, Tom Petty. Piano Man. Uh, Billy Joel. And you want that hotter iced. General Manager Cheyenne O'Daniel has a decade in the restaurant business. She just can't believe how different this place is. But once you come in, they, they just, they love you. And they love that they're here. They love that you're here. And they give you a hug. Bob Booker. Franklin. Love you. All this unconditional joy comes with some conditions. The employees work less than 20 hours a week or they lose their disability benefits. Sweet Jordan's is a for-profit business, not a not-for-profit, because they had to do that to protect these people. Two white mochas. So one of the guidelines for being a non-for-profit is that our special team members would only be able to stay here for up to six months. They would then have to go get a job somewhere else. In rural counties like Paris, Tennessee, there's not any places that are willing to um, hire the amount of special team members that we have here. What are they graduating to? Nothing. Nothing. They're sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. And so Tommy St. John had an idea. If Sweet Jordan's is a true ministry, why not ask people to help? She hopes people might sponsor an employee or maybe just a monthly donation to keep the business going. Hot busy bee. The model is meaningful, but struggles to be profitable. Well, it's profitable for the people who work here, that's for sure. Like the singing barista Booker. Take this job in sugar. But not this one. <laughs> and profitable for anyone who steps through these doors. Maybe you'd like to help. Learn how to support this ministry slash business. Go to SweetJordans.com. I'll put more of that on the web and Facebook. They sure could use a boost. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.